We got the set in. Sunshine, fresh air. We got the team behind us. So let's play too. Those are the great words of Hall of Fame Ernie Banks. What I don't think he had in mind was playing an extra inning game where you basically play two whole games. What he meant was a doubleheader every night. Baseball used to play doubleheaders almost every single day. They did that because they could get so many games in and they didn't have lights for evening games. In this episode, we're going to play one game but it's basically two games. So we were able to get the win against Detroit three to two. Let's go ahead and look at the box score. Right now, we're looking really good. We are six and one on the month. We're trying to make that push for the playoffs. Merrifield has two hits. Garver had three hits, but Merrifield with an RBI. Looks like we won it in the 13th inning. So already going four innings extra, but it looks like Duffy had a great day, six inning pitch, one earned run. McCarthy got the blown save, but then Ramos got another win, 5-0, and and Hicks with the save. Friday night baseball on the show, and we come your way from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Taking He's on the Tigers, the top of the happy. first, yeah. Mondi up in the leadoff. 2-0 count, looking to go deep, is going to hit it deep enough. He's going to get a triple on this one, easy for Mondi. And a great start to the game as he's in with a leadoff triple. So he's in at third. 14 to kick off the inning triples for him. Merrifield close behind him with nine. Stretch. Line toward Here right comes center. Nick Gordon trying to go. That's going to be deep enough to score Mondi from third. So already taking a 1 0 lead. Here we go. The top of the second. So Lair hitting 304 on the year. He's known for his power. That's going to be deep enough to score a run. It's going to be closer than expected, but safe is Gordon at home. 2-0 is your lead. Monty back up in the top of the second. He crushes this one. Not going to get to it. And center filled, so another triple for Monty. Just the RBI on this one, almost catching Gallagher from behind. But he gets the triple in RBA. Gallagher. He singled and scored. In Top his of the fourth, Gallagher himself is going to get an RBI it's here. So the Royals field. just pouring it on at this point. Four to zero in the, in the fourth third. inning. Gordon comes up, 0 for one on the now day. The one and one pitch. Logo and turns, on turns on it over the right field. And that is off the That's going to be a right run field. for him and RBI. For Logo, second and third. Detroit trying to make a comeback here on Tyler Anderson, scoring three runs in the fourth inning. Four runs in the fourth inning, and we got a five to four game here. And he struck him out. And wouldn't this be something if he could work out of this with Reyes in the pitch, trying to get something going, but it's going to tie up five to five. Bottom of the six. Cordero up in the top of the eighth. Can we get something going here? Back shoulder, and thus the this is hit high and deep out to left. Cordero over Goodwin's glove for a home run. Shot here to left. Jordan Hicks. If the man called on to close this one and earn a save. Hicks in for another save. He got one last night. Maybe a strikeout here of Harrison. Really fooled him that time. Three and two count. Bottom of the ninth. Cabrera gonna watch that one go over the middle. 100 mile an hour fastball. Not able to get it. And the Royals win another close one. So Alberto Mondesi hurt his lat muscle, so he's going to be out for several days. We're going to go ahead and keep him in the lineup, but we are not going to play with him, try to keep him from getting injured further. So right now we are close, 63 and 55, close to the Indians. We need to try to get above them because the AL wild card, you are going to have to win a lot to get in because of Boston and the Yankees. So I wanted to show you kind of what we're looking at. Witt here hitting 335. Looks like Encarnacion hitting 345 and Trout hitting 339. 
So third place in the batting race. We're gonna go ahead and sim the game for Homer Bailey, loses it three to zero. So we won seven, lost two this month so far. So we're on a roll, but we do lose to Detroit, who's 36 and 80 on the year. So they're definitely not good. So losing to them is not gonna help us pass the Indians. Bailey gave up three on runs and five pitching, five innings pitched. James giving up zero and three innings pitched. Going to look at AAA in Omaha, see how they're doing. It looks like they lost five to three to Salt Lake Bees. If you watched last episode, we played them and they beat us as well. Just kind of looking at how we did. Libertor gave up four and runs and four and two thirds. Kennedy a one earned run and Birdie giving up zero. Simming through, we simmed a couple games because my my footage isn't very good. You can tell here the subject changed. It's not very good quality, and I want to apologize. We did play in horrible quality i reset my computer and didn't realize that it reset all of the settings for the capture card as well so the next few episodes are not going to be very great quality but we will get out of them as soon as possible it is not like this forever so keep that in mind Here's the first pitch. top of the 17th inning this is what i talked about when ernie banks said play two he did not mean in one actual game to play two full games but the wolves do take a 43 lead in baltimore top of the 17 might as well just pour it on right five to three the 2-1 Mondesi going to be 4 for 8 on the day. Runner going home. Witt's going to be out at the plate. So 6 to 3 is the lead. O'Hearn up. 3 for 3 on the day. And it goes the other way as this is hit high. And is it going to be deep strike. enough? It will. A home run for O'Hearn. Just like that. Top of the 17th like inning. 9 to 3 Ultimate is your run. total. Right so again, I want to talk about you know how we're doing we won 16 to 4 danny duffy getting the win there we're doing pretty well this month but trying to kind of fly through games here because you don't want to watch the games that have horrible quality and i don't want you to watch games that have horrible quality i apologize it does get better in the next few episodes we're kind of just dealing with it now but i want to give you an overview of what's going on i did add bobby witt jr this was I actually recorded this right after the draft. So I added Bobby Wood Jr. to our team, put him and I'll adjust him as he plays in the minors. If he's having a bad time, I'll kind of make him a little worse. If he's doing really well, you know, the overall will kind of stay around how I think he's doing. I also added Brady McConnell, who's the Royals second pick. Top of the first, Alex Gordon up. He's gonna swing and miss, strike out. Not able to get it to first base in time though, so the Royals score one to zero on a strikeout pass ball. Nixon Zell up next, so this should have already been out of the inning, but he's gonna hit go dive by right they're not able to get it and third goes Sinzel. so two to zero should be zero to zero he's not closing the door on guys cordero gonna strike out as well for some reason the catcher does not throw it so just like that three to zero is your score where it should have been zero to zero in the first oh and here's a drive well hit out to straightaway center mullins looks up and it's gone that one cut through the sky like a hot knife through butter. Dolaire able to hit a home run there. On to the next game against Cleveland. Again, I am going to fly through these because there's no use in showing you full gameplay of a game that's this bad of quality. I do apologize again. I didn't realize it was bad quality until I kept recording and I was like, this does not look right. Brady Singer there had nine strikeouts in the game, getting the win five to three. So we are 71 and 59, Cleveland at 69 and 61. So yes, we are two games above Cleveland now, and hopefully we can get this last win and go above them even further. So on the month right now, we are 15 and five. We wanna keep that going as we are taking over the AL Central, and we wanna make sure that we get the AL crown because we don't wanna deal with trying to get the wild card with Boston and the Yankees up there. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button.
On the left will be the last episode. If you did not watch that, make sure you do so. On the right will be all of the episodes from episode one. So if you want to watch the whole series from episode one, click on the right. Till next time, slacker out.